Conflicts of interest in research. What should I do when facing conflicts of research? Every researcher hopes to bring society benefit, increase the quality of life, and promote progress of society. However, there are many risks and benefits involved in research. If a researcher's judgment is compromised, it may result in research participants being in an unsafe environment. Researchers often multitask and play different roles. Conflicts may arise when a researcher's professional judgment with regards to his primary interest is influenced or compromised by a secondary interest. With regards to scientific research, the primary interest is what advances scientific knowledge, while secondary interest is the financial or non-financial benefits that can be obtained for oneself. Conflicts of interest can be largely classified in Topersonal Conflicts of Interest, Research Ethics Committee, REC, IRB, Conflicts of Interest, or Institutional Conflicts of Interest. Personal Conflicts of Interest As a researcher, in the production of knowledge, the integrity of research must always be the researcher's primary interest. Profit, fame, and more, must always be secondary interests. Researchers should never allow secondary interests to influence the team or the quality and outcome of research. Research Ethics Committee Conflicts of Interest The Research Ethics Committee REC, IRB, is committed to reviewing and monitoring research, as well as protecting research participants' rights and well-being. However, if a member of the committee has a conflict of interest, it may result in research participants being placed in unsafe environment, or even harm. Institutional Conflicts of Interest When institutions face economic or outside pressure that violates professional or ethical courtesy, there will be a conflict of interest. For example, when a hospital has a conflict of interest, it may make medical research less objective, and the public may lose their trust towards medicine. In order to avoid conflicts of interest, researchers must abide by academic ethics rules, ensure the safety of their research participants, and ensure the integrity of scientific research. Even though a majority of researchers will not manipulate experiments for their own benefits, a minority may intentionally alter research to benefit themselves, which may result in the public questioning and losing trust in research. If a possible conflict of interest is occurring, it should be publicly reviewed and dealt with in order to protect the trust and relationship with research participants, establishing a healthy and well-rounded scientific research environment. <laughs>